I'm home. Memories are made of this. What is this place? I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but you got yourself killed. So first of all, congratulations on the film. It is phenomenal, and you are so great in it. Oh, thank you. How thank does you. it feel to be in a movie that is set to launch a cinematic universe? Ooh, I know for me it wow. feels great. Yeah, I, thought, I mean, obviously the movie's been uh, recut with just me and him now as a yeah. buddy movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I love it. Buddy cop movie kind of yeah, thing going 100%. on. Yeah, 100. Bloodshot with an S. Bloodshot. Bloodshot is part Z, two. Maybe. Z, yes. <laughs> it's nerve wracking. It always is nerve wracking because you come into a project and you kind of read a script and you hear an idea of what the director is going to do, but you never really have a sense of what it's going to be end up being, right? So, you always wish for the best and do it with all your love and you work with what you have and it was incredible and we had such a good time in Cape Town, which I really appreciated uh, being an incredible place. Anxiety ridden in the the beginning because you know that you know you're, you're being told that that Valiant never agreed to do a movie <laughs> and this is the first one and this is the beginning of their cinematic universe and you're like okay no pressure <laughs> how is it like working with Dave Wilson his feature directorial debut oh man yeah he's um he's a G that's what I, I call him. He's a G, uh, the G for genius. I mean, this guy, um, obviously his background in the things that he knows how to do with CGI and special effects. Yeah, he's, he's got a real clear understanding of what he wants. You know, obviously coming from computer games, he creates these worlds, these, these different environments, and really gave us, like, the space to play and explore these characters. But he, was, he, was, he knew exactly what he wanted for every shot. New York Times bestseller, but it's, it's the underdog of, of, of the comic book empires. And we played flawed heroes before and flawed characters. And that's kind of been popular. But this represents an imperfect world in a way that's interesting. When subject matters that aren't discussed enough, like post-traumatic stress disorder or how a soldier feels coming home. Can you tell us a little bit about how you were able to balance the emotional gravity of the character with the physicality? I wanted her to be a contemporary woman, that contemporary women could really relate to her because that's what really dragged me into the script when I read it. It was like she had this compassion and also didn't have a personal agenda. It wasn't like a revenge story or like a hate story or a love story per se. It was just like this person who has morals and, and, and integrity as a human being, but also is absolutely capable of being physical and independent, and I thought that's an incredible story to tell. But how is this movie different from other comic book movies in the contemporary media landscape? It's better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think, you know, the, the thing about this is it is a comic book movie, but it's not like others, um, you know, Valiant deal with not superheroes, it deals with, you know, ordinary people, human beings that uh, have enhancements. And I think uh, this, you know, this is also a, um, a sci-fi movie as well, you know, it deals with humanity and, and uh, poses a lot of questions. He's unlike anything we've seen before. And he's entirely in our control. When you add those different elements of some of the great films that we do like, whether it be thriller, whether it be sci-fi, whether it be comic book, whether it be comedy, uh, this this movie has uh, is, is pretty much an amalgam of all of those things. You know, everyone will talk about the fact that it's a superhero movie, but not in any way that's familiar to us. Mm -hmm. It's not an altruistic Dudley do right. It's not a guy from a, a planet of heroes. It's not a guy that says, I'm gonna save the world and I'm gonna stop the villain. At the end of the day, it's, it's more Spartacus. It's a guy saying, I need to be free. Mm -hmm. I, and finally, is aware enough to realize he's got to be free. Now this movie has big time themes of transhumanism. What do you think the movie has to say about it? Transhumanism. Yeah. You have to define what that means. Yeah, when you said it originally, I thought you meant something else. And then I was like, oh, I got a couple of homies. Uh, but then I was like, wait, that's, that's not what she means. Like combining the, <laughs> yes. the you know, electronics yeah, with like, the body yeah, parts. Like cyborg, like, yeah, exactly. Cyborg nature. Um, yeah. Uh, I think it says a lot because it's already happening, you know. Um, I think now in the right hands it's used for uh, medical advancement, things like that. If someone loses a limb like his character in the mm -hmm. film, it can be used to kind of better that way of life. But, you know, in the wrong hands, um, I think <laughs> you could get someone like him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, absolutely. You know, as Phil Moore says, you know, it's... Uh, 
we, we now are almost already cyborgs with our mobile phones. You know, we're, we're enhanced, we're made better, we can do more things with this piece of technology. Um, it's not really a big step to see where these characters are and where these human beings could go. Watch Mojo's bread and butter is ranking. So what yes. would you rank as the most badass thing about Bloodshot, the number one most badass thing? The number one most badass thing about Bloodshot, I think there's a shot in the movie, the, the, the tunnel scene, but I think it's one of the coolest moments that I've seen. It feels so comic book. I'm gonna find the man who murdered my wife and kill him. The tunnel sequence for me is like one of the coolest kind of comic book style action sequences when he breaks that gun with like the side of his arm yeah. and does this like double so foot kick. I've been trying to do that in the trailer and <laughs> well, it's really... I know how to do it in my real life. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just don't do it on camera. Yeah, yeah. Um, so watch out. I, that for me is has got to be the, the one of the most badass things. And it's not because of, and those things are awesome, it's because of the little <laughs> that he draws on the thing, it's scary, like, isn't on, it? the, on the it's window. Like a That's Watchmen vibe. One hundred percent. It's scary and it's creepy. If a guy is about to kill you, the last thing you want him to do is make you smile first. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Have you been working on your smile? Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. You've been working on, on it. Let's see. It's great. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful smile. Thank you. There's a lot of badass things about Bloodshot. <laughs> uh, the ability, uh, you know, as I do stunts, it, it's, it would be nice every now and then to be able to regenerate that quickly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can tell you that. It feels like real people upgraded. It's not trying to compete with what's out there. It's her own, its own little thing, you know. It feels like what it could potentially be to be us in 20 years. And I think that's super badass, because God knows where we're going to be. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. To have that unlimited access. Mm -hmm to information and data. It must be pretty cool. Yeah, and you did a great job. So oh, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. I appreciate that. <laughs>